everybody, it's Tim from TimGoiner.com. Today I want to talk about using the grid method when transferring or creating a sketch for your painting. So the grid method is great for anything, whether it's a landscape, uh, painting an animal, painting a human, a still life, uh, works really great. The old masters used to use the grid method um, in certain ways. They used to have a glass with a grid that they used to look, look through to capture the proportions of their objects that they were painting. So the grid method, great technique, especially if you have trouble with proportion um, and getting things to look accurate, relationships, you know, make, maybe make one thing too big, one thing too small. Um, the grid method will help you get a good sketch and a good foundation for your paintings. So I'm gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna do a little series on this, but I'm gonna talk about how to create a grid, um, different types of grids you can make, how to make the, your photo gridded so you can um, reference your photo. First thing I wanna talk about though is what is the grid method? Uh, the grid method is basically taking a pencil or charcoal and creating a square grid. Um, so one by one squares all the way across, two by two squares, three by three squares, it doesn't really matter. Um, the difference is the smaller the square, the easier it is to capture your drawing. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But you're gonna create a grid on your canvas and then you're gonna take a photo um, that you wanna reference. You're gonna size the photo to the same size as your canvas and then grid that out on your computer um, or you can print it out and use pencil and draw on it. Um, but we're gonna talk about how to do all of those things. So when you have the gridded photo, you can then reference that photo with the grid up here on your canvas. And basically what you're doing is drawing everything that you see in each little square. So it makes the photo easier to follow because you can look at your grid and know what square you're in and copy that same square from your computer. It just makes the drawing process a lot easier and I'm gonna show you how that works. Um, first thing I'm gonna do in this video today though is I'm gonna show you how to set up your grid and a few things that you might run into that could cause uh, some issues. So today, this video, we're gonna talk about a one by one grid. It's the easiest grid to follow um, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a one by one grid on your photo on the computer. Um, and then in the next video, I'll show you the drawing part of the grid method. So one by one grid, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a ruler um, or a yardstick, a canvas, and I like to just use pencil. Uh, some people prefer graphite, but uh, down the road in this series, I'm gonna talk about why you can use pencil successfully and not worry about um, the graphite affecting your painting. There's ways to uh, protect it before moving on to your painting so it doesn't bother your painting at all. All right, so I'm gonna have you come in. I'm gonna show you how to set up a one by one grid on this canvas. The one by one grid is the easiest one to follow, but the easiest one to make some mistakes because there's so many lines. So I'm gonna have you zoom in and we're gonna talk about it. All right, so I've got a ruler here. I'm gonna use my smaller ruler uh, just because the canvas is smaller. And then I've got a pencil here and I'm just using an H pencil. Um, I'd use something that's relatively, something that's not gonna be too dark. Like a, you don't wanna use a 6B, um, but a really light pencil might kind of indent the canvas because the lead is so hard or the graphite so hard, like a 6H, you don't want to use that. So somewhere in the middle, maybe an H, a 2B, something like that. First problem that you'll run into with canvas is if you measure it, a lot of times it's not exactly uh, 16 inches on both sides. This one fortunately is really accurate. So um, if you ever run into a canvas that might be an eighth of an inch short, sometimes that happens, especially with pre-stretched canvases. Um, what you wanna do is always measure from the left all throughout the, the uh, canvas. That way your, your item will be placed um, into the canvas correctly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the bottom of the canvas and we're gonna line up our ruler we're going to hold it in place. And what we're going to do is very carefully, we're going to put our eyes right above the one, one inch, and we're going to make a mark. We're going to do the same thing going all the way across. So you want to really line up your eyes and make sure that mark is right on the line. 
So we're going to do that every inch because we're doing one by one. So we'll be doing 16 marks. And again, take your time. Make sure your pencil is lined up on the right mark and right on the mark. So right on the line for the number. If you're off a little bit, it might throw your drawing off. Probably not too much where it'd be an issue, but um, it could be enough to alter the proportions a little bit. So then what we're gonna do is come up to the top of the canvas. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna mark every spot. I'm gonna to try to make sure that we're getting really accurate. All right, I'm going all the way to 15. All right, so now we have marks on both top and bottom. So what we can do is we can take our ruler and what we're gonna do is line up the marks. We wanna make sure they're lined right up. And we're gonna put the tip of the pencil right to the ruler and we're gonna draw straight up so that line should be hitting both marks. We're going to do that all the way across. So the better you get at the grid method, the less you're gonna to have to get your grid perfect. Um, if you're just starting out drawing, getting your grid really accurate is important. But the better you get at drawing, the grid method will help you get better at drawing because you'll start to see relationships and proportion a lot better. All right, so I've turned my canvas onto the side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along one of these lines. I'm going to line up again, measuring to, from the left. Um, I'm going to line up my ruler here. And you can see on this one, it's a little bit less than 20. The reason why I'm measuring to the left is that way when I turn it back up, it will be measured. So when I turn the canvas back up like this, we'll, be have, we'll have it measured top down. Usually the things at the very bottom don't matter too much. Um, that way everything will be still in really good proportion. So always measuring from the left. All right, so I'm gonna line it up just like before. I'm gonna mark every inch. So one, two, three, four, and so on. And I'm going quickly here because I've done a lot of these, but you wanna make sure that you line up just right on that line. Okay, I'll go down to the bottom, same thing, measuring from the left, and we're gonna measure each inch, putting a line right there on each mark for the inch. So going all the way across. Again, take your time. Mostly going fast for demonstration purposes. We're going to turn it back up now. And I'm going to go back to my uh, smaller ruler just so it's easier to hold. I'm going to start at the bottom. We're going to line up my two marks here. We'll do a line across. So again, lining up the two marks, making sure they're right on line.
we'll go all the way up to the top. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the end here as I mark the last one um, because you don't need to see me do every single line. I don't want you to get too bored. So in the next step I'll show you how to create your image on the computer. Okay, so you can see I've got my grid finished. It's all one by one inch squares. Now we're going to use this to capture our drawing and make our sketching process a lot easier. Now I'm going to show you how to grid out a photo using Photoshop. Okay, so this is my image all gridded out and I've already done this on Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that within the program. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop and then open your image. So a lot of times when you open the image, it's not going to be the exact same size as your canvas. So the first thing we'll do in Photoshop, once you have your image open, is crop the image down to the size of your canvas. So first thing, we're going to take our mouse and go over to the crop tool and select that. Then we're going to go up top in these two little bars and enter 16 and then 20 for 16 by 20. It will change the crop tool to that size. And then we can adjust the frame to frame in our figure how we want to. We can move around by just clicking the mouse and moving her into the position we want and then change the cropping. When we're ready, we'll just double click to uh, finish the crop. So just a few adjustments, then double click and then it's cropped. Then I want to resize the image because it's probably still not the correct size. So we're going to go to image size. We're going to change the width to 16 and height by 20 and then inches on the right. And then we will go over to the magnifying glass here and zoom in a little bit. Uh, up top you can see a ruler and on the left you can see a ruler. And you can see that it's 16 by 20 on the ruler. If you go to view, if you don't see a ruler, if you go to view, you can go down and select rulers. So I unselected it, now I selected it again, the ruler shows up. So you can see uh, it says 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 at the top. We want it to have all the numbers 1 through 16, so we will right click on the image and then click fit on screen. And now you can see all the numbers are there. We're going to then go over to the brush tool and select that. And we're going to change the size up top down to about 2 pixels. You just hit enter and now it's at 2 pixels. What we want to do now is start drawing the lines. You can see up at the top and on the side there's a ruler, like I said. If you zoom out, you can see that it changes the ruler again. So we're going to have to zoom in and scroll up and down a little bit. So we're going to scroll the image down so we can have some space at the top. Go ahead and select the brush tool again. What we want to do is line that brush tool up onto the one. You got to take your time, make sure it's on there. Then we are going to click our mouse, press shift, and then pull down. So again, that is clicking the mouse, pressing shift, and then pulling down on each number. And again, you want to make sure you line those up really well. So if you accidentally hit shift and then click, it will make the line all diagonal and weird. Um, just click undo if that happens. So just try to remember, click, shift, pull, and you want to hold that click and the shift the entire time that you pull down on your mouse. So we're going to go on every number, go all the way across. So we've got one inch spaces, and then we're going to do it from the side. Same thing. We're going to click our mouse, hit the shift key, and then pull across, and it'll make a perfect line. So that way we don't have to use the line tool or anything like that. We just line up our mouse on those dashes right above the number. You want to make sure they're perfect. And then click, shift, and pull. And we'll go all the way down. Last but not least, we'll do it on number 19. Same thing. After that, we're going to export our image because we're done. We've created the grid. We're going to go up to File, go down to Export, Export As. A window will come up. You can export. You can name it to whatever you want. Figure grid for me. And then Save. And then that will be saved wherever you exported it to. And now you have a gridded image ready for your painting. In the next video of this series, I'll show you how to use the grid method to create your sketch, and then we will move on to the painting. 
Um, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or send me an email at tim at timgonyer.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.